A seven-year-old girl is suffering life-threatening injuries after being caught up in a drive-by shooting close to Euston Station in London. Five other people have been injured in the incident. A peaceful memorial service that ended like this, as mourners ran screaming after a suspected drive-by shooting outside a church in Euston. Six people were injured, four women and a seven-year-old girl in a life-threatening condition. A 12-year-old's also been discharged from hospital with a minor leg injury. We heard like a loud, like a p sound and then, but I didn't really take anything into it. And then my friend was like, wait, was I gunshot? Queen Macaulay was visiting her friend in flats next to the church when she heard a gunshot and saw people running away. We literally saw like people and like kids like running towards this direction, so we're like, nah, let's come back upstairs. Um, but then while we were downstairs, we could we literally saw like this black Mercedes literally sped off. The memorial service was that of a mother and daughter who died within a month of each other last year. 20-year-old Sara Sanchez passed away from leukemia in November. It's not known whether the victims attended the memorial service, but police were called here just before half past one this afternoon after reports that shots were fired from a moving vehicle, which was then driven away from the scene. What was supposed to be a peaceful event ended in an act of violence. A Metropolitan Police statement reads, any shooting incidents unacceptable, but for multiple people, including two children, to be injured in a shooting in the middle of a Saturday afternoon is shocking. Our thoughts are with all the victims, but in particular with the seven-year-old girl who's in a life-threatening condition and with her family. An investigation into this dreadful attack is already well underway, involving local officers and specialist detectives. As behind the police cordon, forensic officers assessed the scene and looked for evidence. An appeal for information went out to the community to help bring justice to those responsible. Adele Robinson, Sky News.